uh, could the Cabinet Secretary provide a status update on investigations into the intercommunal clashes that occurred in Sondu Town in Kisumu County, uh, which lies on the border region of Kericho and Kisumu counties during the demonstrations in June and July 2023. Two, what progress has the government made in the disarmament of armed groups in the town? And C, what measures has the government uh, put in place to provide peaceful coexistence and prevent a recurrence of intercommunal clashes in the town? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Sears. Right, Honorable Speaker, sir. In response to the question number 001 by the Senator for Kisumu County, Professor Tomo Gender, I state as follows. That the conflict in Sondu area along the Kericho-Kisumu border first has been there for a long time intermittently. But the particular episode uh, that is the subject matter of this statement occurred around June and July 2023 and it was caused by two things. First, a boundary dispute between two sub-counties, Soin, Sigoet in Kericho County and Nyakach sub-county in Kisumu County. That town of Sondu, both counties have been claiming are in, within their respective counties. Secondly, these uh, clashes and, and violence uh, occurred as a, or was triggered by revenue collection activities where both counties, uh, Kericho and Kisumu, wanted to collect revenue as is in the case with several other neighboring counties across the country. What action has government done? We commenced uh, investigations, but even the immediate action we did to de-escalate the violence was to post uh, the elite general service unit uh, a company or a formation uh, to de-escalate the violence and restore law and order. But other than the deployment, Honorable Speaker, we commenced investigations on all the criminals who were responsible for that mayhem, and we opened criminal uh, uh, suits and inquiries uh, in the following cases. Inquest number three of, 20, number three of 2023, the deceased person, Melzede Kothiambo. It's pending before court. Inquest number seven, stroke 202, Brian Othiambo Wino, pending under investigations. Number C, inquest number nine of 202, Nicole Oko, pending under investigations. Number four, inquest number nine, stroke 202, David Otieno, pending under investigations. Inquest number nine of 203, Colin Sauma, pending under investigations. And inquest number five of 202, an arson case, which uh, has also been uh, uh, subject to the inquiry. Further, inquiry case number 10 of 2023, Charles Auma, is pending before the ODPP for directions to prosecute. Right Honorable Speaker, sir, we do not have, we believe that there are no armed groups in Sondu Town. What we believe there is are groups and gangs of youths from both sides, the Kericho side and the Kisumu side, who arm themselves with bows and arrows from time to time, 
And what we have done to make sure that these gangs do not regroup is we have issued a security directive against bearing of arms on both sides. No one is supposed to carry arms. Even as, as I've said, we have deployed a very, very effective GSU contingent, which has been patrolling that area for close to a year now with a lot of success. Right, Honorable Speaker, this are the measures that the government has taken to promote peaceful coexistence in the Sondo town area. First, the deployment of the elite GSU squad, which is already stationed in the area. The officers are conducting a 24-hour patrol within the affected areas. Secondly, we changed the deployment. We did transfers of all police officers uh, from both, both sides who had served there for a long time because the evidence was pointing to some of them having been compromised and having been conflicted uh, with the local issues in that area. Thirdly, right honorable speaker, sir, we are encouraging the security teams from the Kericho side and the Kisumu side to carry joint patrols together so that we make it clear to the residents of that area that security is a, is a national asset, security is a national good, it has nothing to do with boundaries. And therefore, the police, the National Police Service of Kenya, for example, whether they are serving in Kericho or Kisumu, are the National Police Service of the Republic of Kenya. So they are doing joint patrols. So on the Kericho side, the team from Kisumu and the team from Kericho patrolling together. And then occasionally also, on the Kisumu side, the two teams patrolling together. We believe this way will demystify or rather reduce the notion which was there that the police on either side was trying to protect the interest of each side. These are national police service uh, officers and they serve the country uh, equally. Right, Honorable Speaker, thirdly, we have arrested and uh, prosecuted suspects. The following people or accused persons have been arrested and arraigned before courts for cattle theft, because in those skirmishes there has also been a case, a case of livestock theft, uh, low scale but quite disruptive in that area. The following people have been arrested and taken to court: Festus Chepkwonyi, Charles Kipkemboy. Water Omolo Ogutu, Gabriel Ombusa Bolo, Bara Komondi, and Pongeso. We have also enhanced the sharing of intelligence among the security agencies and enhanced the collaboration with both state and non state actors, including um, uh, you know, peace uh, organization and other organizations in that area who are helping us with peace. The NCIC also, the National Commission. Uh, on, on in, uh, National Cohesion and Integration Commission has also been facilitating uh, communities there to engage with each other, which is also a government initiative. And finally, I want to comment on behalf of the national government, the efforts taken by the governors of the two counties uh, recently, the governor of Kericho County, the governor of Kisumu County, by helping communities to talk to each other and make sure that we have long-standing peace in that area. Right, Honorable Speaker, sir, the measures that have been put in place are effective because normalcy has been returned in that area. The schools that have been closed have been reopened, businesses have resumed, and the Sondu open air market is currently operational. I submit. Honorable Senator for Kisumu. Pursuant to standing order 51C7A, you have yes, well, Mr. Speaker, to have yes, two thank, supplementary questions. Yes, Mr. Speaker, sir, my supplementary question is on, on floods that have afflicted the same victims of clashes. I, I want the, the CS to tell the House when he intends to visit the flood uh, infested or the flood affected victims of the Sondu clashes 
Mr. Speaker, sir, the sub-county of Nyakach specifically has been afflicted by floods and the sub-county of Nyando and Kisumu. We have Kapuothe, we have Nyakach, we have Kabonyo Kanyagwal that has suffered from the backflow of Lake Victoria. I just want this year to tell, to tell the house when he's visiting Kisumu <coughs> and myself just to share with us, to, to, you know, we want to know that the government is concerned about us, Mr. Speaker, sir. Honorable Sears. Right, Honorable Speaker, I don't know whether it will be in order for me just to say that I'll visit very soon uh, because uh, the reasons are uh, mainly two. Uh, right now, the whole country is in a huge crisis and we are trying to ensure that we respond and are available to as many uh, emergencies as possible, including the emergency right now in Nyando. Uh, it's one of them. And secondly, also, uh, this space, we, we, we do not have the, the privilege of uh, having uh, publicly available long-term calendars published. But I'll be in Kisumu soon, in the next few days, and I'll notify the senator for Kisumu County.